Okay, so we're writing the equation for a parabola, uh, and this is uh, going to have a vertical stretch or compression to it. And so what we're going to do, the parabola here on the left, uh, the most important thing for a parabola is to notice where the vertex is. Uh, vertex here is at 3, 0. So for my parabola, normally it's going to be x squared something, but if the parabola moves and it's a horizontal shift, that means it goes with x. Okay. And that would be my equation because the 3, 0, there's no uh, vertical shift, so that's what it would be. But I do notice that my graph looks a little skinnier than usual. Okay. And I know that the value of a goes in front of parabolas. And I'm going to use this point right here uh, to find out what my value of a is because I have to find out what the multiplier is to know what my proper equation is. So the value, this point is at 4, 2. Okay, so I'm going to plug in 2 equals a 4 minus 3 squared. Okay, so that's going to give me 4 minus 3 is 1, 1 squared is 1. So really, a equals 2. So 2 is what goes in front of my parentheses there. So my final equation is f of x equals 2 x minus 3 squared. So that's how you find it for a parabola. Just the same as an absolute value. Very, very simple. And actually, this is how you do it for any equation. But let's go ahead and try it now for this, the problem on the right. Okay, so again, I recognize it's a parabola, so it's going to be quadratic. Here's my vertex at negative 2, comma 3. So that means it's going to be x plus 2 squared plus 3. All right. And then I realize that it looks a little fatter than usual, if I could say that. So I know there's going to be a multiplier of some kind, or this is the way that we double check to make sure our equation works. So we plug in that coordinate at 0, comma 1. So 1 equals a 0 plus 2 squared plus 3. All right. So I'm going to have 0 plus 2 is 2. 2 squared is 4. Okay, so 4a plus 3 equals 1, subtract 3, and I get negative 2 equals 4a divided by 4, and a equals 2 over 4 reduces down to negative 1 half. So negative 1 half is my multiplier that goes in front of my equation. So my final answer for this would be f of x equals negative one-half x plus two squared plus three. Which makes sense, right? Because if it's negative one-half, that means it should be wider than usual. And then the negative would imply that uh, it's facing downwards, which this equation is. So that is how you find the multiplier. You use the second, secondary point, uh, plug it in to find a or whatever the multiplier is in front, and that's how you do it for parabolas.